We have something um, rather unusual now. Um, the fact that a businessman has spent £500,000 of his own money creating a free service to help fight waste crime. He's Martin Montague, and we want to know if this could work in Guernsey. He joins us now. Martin, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you today. So first of all, we need to go right back to the beginning, as every good story uh, well, starts yeah. at the beginning. So what prompted you... T- tell me about your angst and your anger and your ire, first of all. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a consumer. I'm just a, I'm just a person. And uh, I paid someone to take a load of waste away from my house and they fly-tipped it. All my personal stuff was everywhere. Council knocked on my door and said, you're going to get a fine. Uh, I was really distressed because the first thing you do when you go to get rid of some rubbish is you jump on Google and I just, you know, rang a couple of people up. Someone said 250 quid and I paid them the money. And as far as I'm concerned, it was all all over and done with. But yeah, so I I got ripped off and I live in the countryside and we get terribly fly tipped here. Like my road shut a week or two a year. And over about five years, I thought someone really needs to do something about this and um, cut a long story short, it was me. Um, we help farmers, um, we work with all the councils, you can report, uh, if you catch people on the clear waste app, submit evidence that goes to the police or the councils for prosecution. So it's been a really, really good, well-adopted scheme, top 30 in the apps on Apple. I'm hugely pleased with the success of it, although I am frustrated about the amount of reports we're getting. Whereabouts in the countryside do you live? Uh, I live in Hampshire on the mainland, so um, near Winchester. It's a beautiful part of the world, and I'm dismayed oh, yeah. to hear that there's so much fly tipping's going on. We have our own problems with that here, although I don't think it's a, of, of that nature and to such a scale. But nevertheless, we don't want it at all. It's vile behaviour, absolutely disgusting. So how does the app Sorry, work in essence? Oh, basically, it's a free app. It's called Clear Waste. You download it and it knows exactly where you are and you can report fly tipping anywhere in the UK. So you just report fly tipping? Yeah, or submit evidence. So if you catch someone in the act, you can upload the video or photos and it goes through to the appropriate council. So presumably you need buy-in from the relevant authorities? Yeah, but we haven't had, we've only got about 10 that have been anti. The rest have been pretty good. Why um, would any council not, be anti this? They, they've they got terrible problems and they don't want consumers to know quite how bad. Oh. So they're fudging, their, they're fudging their figures, probably. OK, well, any of my lovely UK listeners listening in from, I know we've got some in Brighton, some in Derby. If you could let us know the state of fly tipping there, that would be great. Um, so it's a it's a snitch app, in other words. Um, yeah, basically, we use all the data that comes in. Um, we use artificial intelligence. We work out when places are likely to be fly tipped. A lot of the councils go out proactively. I caught a gang yesterday, just yesterday, red handed. So, um, what's in it for them? Presumably, they get the money for clearing it up and then they don't have to spend any of their money disposing of the waste in the usual ways. That's right. It's all just cash proceeds of crime, isn't it? And these people aren't paying into the tax system. And let's face it, none of us have ever seen any fly tipping and thought, that looks great there. <laughs> no, no, we haven't. We haven't. And, and, and at its most revolting, what have you seen? What's it like? Uh, I've seen everything. I go to all the worst fly tips in the country. I went to a, a place called Mill Hill in London last year. Three football pitches big and it was uh, rotting um animal carcasses and oh. all sorts of stuff. It was absolutely vile. Um, now, we, I've just opened do... my mouth and said something that might not necessarily be true. I've I've just said to you, I don't know whether there's a, a big problem of fly tipping here in Guernsey. I suspect it's less than the UK. But actually, an app like this might highlight just how bad the problem is over here, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, and our app will work there. So um, I just need to work out whether we've got your councils plugged in over there. I'll have to check with the guys when they're back off furlough. But if not, I promise you it will be working in a month.
Right, we don't have councils, we have parishes. So um, parishes, we have, so. yes, we have each parish, Duzane, will uh, be responsible for rubbish in their area, as well as the the overall States of Guernsey plan, the States of Guernsey being our government. Things are very different here. But nevertheless, oh, yeah. the principle's the same. And, and I see from talking to you right now, I don't see that that, that changes anything. I think it could still work, potentially. Um, what about the fact that we're on a small island like this? You're effectively asking us to snitch on people. It's a far more close-knit community here and people tend to know each other. In other words, they might be worried about the consequences of snitching on someone else. Yeah, that's a good question. I think you've got to ask the private landowners who get stuff dumped on their land and have to pay to get it cleaned up how they feel about it. So... It's that, you know, age-old adage, really. Um, it's not really snitching. You're just reporting if you see any fly-tipping, and then we use that data and we pass it to the council, well, whoever it is over there that deal with it, and then that will get cleaned up. I take it they, they pick it all up for you unless it's on private property there? Uh, yes, that's that's correct. Um, I'm just wondering, could you let me know, please, um, listening to Martin now, if you've experienced any fly tipping here in Guernsey, you can text me 07786 200 932. Uh, we've got some beautiful cliff tops and then you round a corner and somebody's fly tipped something. It's absolutely disgusting anywhere. But on a tourist island like this, it's all the more important I love, that we keep... I love the Channel Islands. Sorry. I Thank think they're you. amazing. Thank you very I, I much. I love it over there. Really love it over there. Well, we're particularly proud with the way that we've handled coronavirus. We've hit the national news for being the first um, out of lockdown in the British Isles. And we hope to welcome visitors back when we open our borders. So we want to keep Guernsey as, as clear as possible. Going back to the data, Martin, presumably mm. that could also be used proactively to, to start um, allowing councils to think, well, hang on a minute, this is happening here, this is happening there. So they could proactively put in measures to stop it happening, perhaps, by using the data in, in over a, a longer period of time, for example. You're absolutely right, and that's exactly what we're doing with the data. So, um, And you can see me on a... Uh, I'm on Channel 5, uh, 8.15 on Sunday, doing a stakeout using data from the app to do exactly that. Now, you've got an advert featuring a gentleman who's flirted with me in this very studio, one John <laughs> John Chalice, who plays Boise Lovely in guy. Only Fools and Horses. Yeah. Tell us about that advert. Um, yeah, John Chalice and Emily Head, who was from The Inbetweeners, she was also in Emmerdale, and another guy called Frankie Oatway um, have helped us put some commercials together um, for social media and tv and we've we they're amazing people we went out had a great meal um john chalice is particularly nice and he's a good laugh really funny he is, yes <laughs> and he is. I, I mean if i'd gone out for dinner with emily head i in fact i have a problem not to do it with my producer various imitations from the in-betweeners so in the afternoon you might hear me say oh sorry um and various other yeah. things that i probably couldn't repeat from that series but i do love both those actors absolutely fantastic yeah, they're really good. Now, um, it's one thing getting irked about something and, you know, steam allow you're allowing steam to come out of your ears. It's another thing entirely spending half a million pounds of your own yeah. money on something like this. What possessed you? Well, I tell you what, we can't have kids. Me and my wife, we've been together since we were 17. We can't have children. Um, this is my legacy. So I've decided to do this for the country, the greater good. Um, and if I can clean the country up, help the environment, I'm very um, I'm pro looking after the countryside and the towns and the animals that get, you know, uh, hit with single use plastics and stuff like that. Yeah. If I can do my little bit when I'm old and grey, I'll be sitting there thinking I've, I've done something with my life that I'm really proud of. And I am super proud of the way this is going. So. Well, I'm very it's, sorry it's you good. can't have children if that's something you and, and Mrs Montague want to do. Um, but it is that feeling that you do want to leave your mark on this planet before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Absolutely. And uh, let's say we love the Channel Islands, so I'll well, see if I can get something working for you out there. Well, yes, please. And, and make sure you come and see us in person when our borders open and you're more than welcome to come into the studio and have a chat with us. Um, love to. We just had a message from a gentleman called Ben who says, Hi there. 
I've seen fly tipping up by the Rue Saint German quarry. Someone's tipped three ton bags of what looked like old kitchen units and other bits and bobs. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, could you also let me, like Ben, if you've been listening to Martin and me talking about fly tipping, if you've noticed fly tipping anywhere in Guernsey, can you let me know? Please text me 07786 200 932. Should we start downloading this app now, Martin? Yes, because it will work in a month, I promise you. <laughs> OK, so we download clearwaste.com, is that right? You can either visit the website at clearwaste.com or download the app, yeah, from okay. the App Store. So what do we look up? Just Clear Waste on the App Store? Absolutely, and it'll, it'll be there. But Well, let's see um, what statistics we can get. And um, I know we've, the authorities here are very proactive about waste, but nevertheless, there's, still, there's always one. Um, or a few people who will ruin it for everyone else. So um, perhaps this can really help us to be proactive. We've got a number of people here who are themselves proactive in this area, so maybe we can hook you up with them. I'm thinking of um, various environmentalists in Guernsey who've appeared on this show. If you'd like to be hooked up with Martin, do let me know. Martin, stay on the line and Jake will take your details. But for the moment, thank you very much indeed. And what a wonderful thing you've done. My pleasure and thank you. You're welcome, and we hope to see you in Guernsey very, very soon. It's uh, very simple to use. He says it'll work in Guernsey in the next month. That was a promise you heard there. You can go on to clearwaste.com or you can look up Clear Waste on an app store. But do let me know if you've seen any fly tipping in Guernsey. Um, I'm wondering if people have tried to do it more while, while we've been in lockdown, you know, under the radar. So if you've seen fly tipping or if the area around you is an absolute mess, do let me know. Uh, let me know where. You could use what three words, couldn't you, that app if you wanted. Text me, please, 07786. That's 07786 200 932. 